I was like, what in the world? It's crazy dog. But he's still alive, so. Oh, the Chronicles of Lucky. <laughs> Welcome to our table. So today, we've talked about it before, our favorite curry chicken. And we were on that side of town, so we ended up um, getting some. So we are so excited. Sorry, Mom, because I know she wants such. She, we took my parents there, and my mom fell in love. Like, I thought she was having one of those... Foodgasm. Uh, foodgasm commercials there because she was just going on and on and oh my gosh I was like but she loved it it is pretty good this place is called Raja Sweets mm -hmm. and I saw it like on the travel channel I think I think it was Andrew Zimmerman mm -hmm. a few years ago and I had never had it before. So we went one day. And we have been hooked ever since. We've been since. going ever since. It's so good. So it's uh, curry chicken with rice and... Um, chickpeas. Chickpeas with potatoes. So good. And then this right here... I don't remember the name, but it's fried Pakura? onion. Pakura? Pakura? I don't know. Pakura, I think. And it's fried, it has onions, zucchinis. It's like fried vegetables, but it's really good. And it comes with this sauce. It's really good. Like, I could eat a whole pound by myself. And we didn't get any sweets this time. I know. I usually get, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a. It's like a really sweet donut. Mm -hmm. Kind of, it's like a ball, donut ball, and it's kind of got like, it, to me it's like syrupy, sweetened condensed milk, but I don't know if that's what it is, and it's really good, it's very sweet, but I'm trying to not have any sweets. Mm. We didn't even, um, we didn't even get non. Non. Oh, <laughs> I hope the camera caught that. Come on, Luck. I'm so disappointed. That was going to be a good bite, too. So, Lucky's down here eating all the rice that Sierra just spilled. I hope the camera caught that. Here. Here. So, you guys, look. We finally got our coldest water bottle. We're so excited. And if you know me, you know I love water bottles, so I'm excited to have mm. mm. My favorite part is def definitely the curry chicken. I'm, I'll eat the chickpeas, but I don't really care for them that much. And I, I like the chickpeas. <laughs> I will laugh my butt off if he jumps on this table. <laughs> And don't say it too loud. So Lucky is just off camera over there. And he's looking at us. And he's kind of on his hind legs. <clears throat> like I will lose it if he jumps on this any table. Any minute he wants to jump on this table. And his tail is wagging. And he, like know, he learned how to jump on this table too. He's just looking back and forth. Hey, you should try those so people can see what they look like. Okay. They're okay. I don't, it's not my favorite. Every time she gets them, I try, I try it. And so then I'm like. this is what it, <gasps> he's right there. Looks like, and then I'm just gonna break it. So this is what it kind of looks like inside. And it has like onions and stuff. It's really good. And potatoes. Okay, well let me, let me try some. I do this every time and then I say. You know, I don't know. You don't want to saturate it. Just dip it because it's really hot. This batch is hot. Spicy hot? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's okay. 
She tries it every time. Every she time. never likes it. <laughs> Our little buddy is like, hey. Mm. They have, um, it's called Raja Sweets. And they have a whole case of various sweets. And one time, um, we got one of everything just to try it and see what we liked and what we didn't like. And it was a lot. It was a lot. Because see, you have to get it by pounds. So we got like, we get like one fourth of a pound or something. Yeah. No, I think we got like one or two pieces of everything. And they probably no, have... No, but they weigh it by pound. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we had to get like one fourth of a pound to not get too much. And we, we probably... There's probably, what, 10 or 15 at least different items? I say 15. And there's more than... There's got to be more than 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's sitting on our back. Give us a thumbs up for Lucky. <laughs> He's standing on her back right here. Oh, that is so cute. What was that? It was just a little bit of gristle. Oh, you're hurting me. He's hurting. That's gross. What else I used to eat when I was younger? That's weird. Or that I don't like now. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but that's the biggest weird thing. He decided to make an appearance again. Mm -hmm. Our dog has no shame in his game. Like, he will get right up in front of you. Like, he has no boundaries. It's because y'all spoil him. Y'all, you spoil him. <gasps> She's like, so when I fall asleep in her bed, can you scoot over so Lucky can lay down? <laughs> okay. Can I, what? You're squishing him. He doesn't have enough space. <laughs> Cover him up. Okay, let me just go back and share something. Forever. Spoiled. Forever. People and this is a person who does not like animals. I know, that's what I was going to say. So I never, people would be like, oh, she needs a little puppy. And I'm like, no. If, if you give me a puppy, I give you a child. If you I, have, her. I have one or the other, not both. You and so forever that. and ever and ever, I was like, no. I was one of those people that didn't really like dogs. Like, like a would, dog would come and she'd be like, get back, get back. Wash your hands. If a dog licked her, yes, I'm like, she would I would pet her. a dog and she would make me wash my hands. Like, that's how repulsed animal. like, that's how much... I did not like She did not animals. like animals. She does not like animals. But this dog here, she loves exactly. more than me sometimes. No. Yes. Yes. Will you cut this chicken up and give it to him? <laughs> I don't know what happened. So one day... He's hot. Fan him. <laughs> I don't, I don't even that. get that special. I don't even get don't special treatment that. like that. I don't do that. So one day, I don't know, you, your 10th grade year, I just got a wild hair. Like, what am I going to get her for Christmas? And so... That, when they surprised me, that was like the last thing. I thought I was getting a car. Like, I would have thought I would have got a car before I got a dog. Like, I, like, you know my mom, she's most people, no. Like, no. Like, I didn't like dogs. Anyway, so I called my mom because we always go home for Christmas. And and I said, um, I'm going to get Sierra a dog. And my mom's like, who is this? <laughs> and I was like, it's me. <laughs> and she's like, what have you done done with my daughter? And I'm like, ha ha, funny, funny. And I said, look, there's some dogs at the, the pound or like a, a, what do you call it? Adoption center or whatever. And um, I've been looking and I found the cutest dog. Well, the dog was ugly. The, do the dog was, he was so stupid ugly. ugly. No, like he was so or she. I think her name was Trixie. She was so ugly. She was cute. Like, like that's how so ugly she was. Ugly, but cute, and it had like little gizmo. It looked like it got electrocuted. It was a cute. It was a little bitty dog. So I was like, okay, I can do that. 
So I sent the picture to my mom and I was like, okay, I'm going to pay for it. You guys just have to go get it and keep it and, you know, before Christmas. Mm -hmm. She was like, this is the ugliest dog I've ever seen. I saw it because she showed me one second one and be like, she's like, this is the dog we were going to get you. And I'm like, oh, like it's so ugly. It's cute. <laughs> and so I was on like, the this phone. Thing was ugly. I was on the phone with my parents and my dad was like, She's getting a what? Because everybody who knows me is like, there's no way yeah. she would ever like even like get my dog. uncle's dogs. Like she would never go around these dogs. Like she no. does not like dogs. No. And so my dad was like, "That's got to be the ugliest thing ever." It was ugly. So then I was like, so then they made me feel bad. So I was like, okay, well maybe we shouldn't get the ugly dog. So then there was a Jack Russell, and so um, we had paid for the Jack Russell and everything. And then my brother had gotten in touch with my mom and said, hey, there's somebody who found these little babies, these little baby puppies, um, if you want to adopt one. Yeah, and they're underneath little, the house. They're little chihuahuas, like a house or garage or something. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have a mom. So I was like, oh, yeah, okay. So then we, I my mom we can went that. and Can you we, return a dog? Yeah, she did. So she went and told him and said, hey, we're not going <laughs> to, can I get my money back? We're going to. Um, do get a different dog, and that's like adopting a child and be like, no. Well, that's a little different. But the dog didn't know. I wonder if the dog knew. Like, no. oh, I get new home, and now anyway, now you make me feel bad. So we, my mom gets the little lucky, and then they take him to the Pet Smart or Pet Co. One of them, mm -hmm. and they give him a bath and. Um, they he was too little to get any shots yet so he was so little and y'all i'm gonna have to find the video and then i'll insert it here somewhere but so when we got close to the house and and it, it was brilliant on my part because my parents already potty trained lucky yes it was wonderful i was gonna say that um we, were lucky but to to potty we train. put a jacket over sierra's head and she she had no idea, and I was like, I'm going to have to give it to her now, because how are we going to keep a dog quiet till Christmas morning? Yeah. So, we went ahead and gave it to her early, and I she thought I was screamed getting so loud. My dad was holding the dog. He almost dropped no, him. No, Lucky got scared and um, tried to fly out of my dad's arms, gave the poor dog a heart attack. And then after that, it, that was our first time to see him. And then we fell in love. He's our dog. Okay, you talk about Someone me. Someone loves him more, but it's okay. But you do stuff too. Like, she'll come home with a dog outfit or something. Okay, that's different. She likes to dress him up. I come home with He's dog. Bump his head. I come home with dog outfits. She babies the crap out of him. I don't now. baby him. Yes, she does. Um, I spank him. Can you hear him? Can you guys hear him? He's attacking my hands right now. He just likes to, he does this. He goes, he play. Yeah, play. he just likes to play. Oh, we're talking about you. Mommy's baby. It, okay. See? Sorry. See? I'll come, I'll, I'll, I'll be in my room and I'll see him full. She has full blown conversations with him like he's gonna so now magically I'm one say, of yes, those mom. people now. I'm one, oh. She is one of those, she oh, is mom. one of those people. She spoils him like a he gets Christmas mug. presents. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about having a she doesn't like dog, the hair. Well, yeah, he doesn't have that much. He's not that much hair. But the only thing originally my plan was for him to be an outside dog. Yeah. And it works. He barely he goes hates, outside to go He out. only goes outside to pee. So his thing is that he wants to be able to come in the house when he wants. So if we have the door open, he goes out there for a minute and I'm closed. If we have the door closed, he's out there and comes back in. But if we have it open, he's outside for hours. I oh, he's like, like a little kid back in the day. He'll come in, take a little drink, get a little something to eat, run outside, run around the backyard. He'll come in, just see what we're you, doing, walk go out. back out. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Like, yeah. ever since we got this contraption for the door, he's never in the house. Yeah, hardly. Ever. But the bad, the only bad thing that I can say was I didn't realize the expense. So yeah. all the shots that they have to get from the beginning and the snip, snip, 
and um and then just the continuous like he has I he has a medical file. He has his own He has his own room. He has his own room. He's, He's got, got a medical closet. file. And so we keep up with his, you know, immunizations. Are they He's called immun uh oh. Yeah. Are they called immunizations for dogs? Vaccinations. Vaccinations. Um so the cost is one thing. And the other thing okay. is, because he was Go originally way. going to be an outside dog, which didn't never happen, um, we can't just pick up and yeah. travel. <laughs> we can't just be, oh, hey, let's go. Let's, let's go, go here. We because can't. we I have, mean, unless we want to pay for a boarding, but it's so expensive. Yeah, and it scares me, too. Like, how do I know these people are going to take care of yeah, me? Yeah, like, how do we know we're not going to And how do we know there's you know? no other dogs that, that have, like, fleas or, or, or ticks yeah. or, so, you know? I don't know. It's kind of like having to put your child in daycare or something. And so you are usually, comparing putting a dog and boarding to your blood no, going to daycare. No. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? <laughs> no, but y'all see what I mean, all y'all pet lovers out there. So what I we came out of your vagina, Sierra. Oh my gosh, that makes true. me sad. You're comparing. You're not, I'm not going to daycare. But the concept is similar. Kind of. You have to admit it's a little similar. A little. Anyway. So, and then, of course, our Lucky was... Uh, yeah, our dog. He she was, had to get this kind of dog. He was... Uh, what do he you call is. It? He's some. He gets car. He sick. gets car sick. What kind of dog gets car sick? Our he dog. gets car sick. Our dog. He hasn't in a while. I think. I don't know because he's throwing up in my lab. But I think he's throwing up everywhere. Wait, guys, this is a funny story. I wish we'd been recording it. One time, I thought that's not funny. I thought that because he. He, she, my mom picked me up for school, and he had thrown up on her, so she had gunk everywhere in her boobs. Everywhere. everywhere. So then I, he was little, so I was holding him here, and he threw up. Yeah. Like, so that's I, when I contemplated almost like. Okay, so I, I thought, you know, if he's throwing up, let me hold his snout. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. And then once we can stop, I can just kind of hang him out the door, right? So he's gurgitating and gurgitating. So I grab his snout and kind of hold his mouth closed and up so that we can pull over right you i mean you would think that would work right no it doesn't work instead of it, him holding it in it comes out of both sides of his mouth like a sprinkler so now we are in the middle of god knows where two of us covered two of us covered in vomit the car's covered in vomit he's covered in vomit and how can one little dog have so I was much. mad. So we missed yeah. doggy training that day because we Puppy were disgusting. Training. I was so mad. I thought that I was had dog work. chunks in my bra. It was disgusting, it was guys. Disgusting. It was gross. I did not expect it. Literally, it looked it ricocheted. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was it was terrible. disgusting. It was terrible. hilarious. We uh, we uh, we pulled off in a Dairy Queen parking lot, and I go covered in vomit inside <laughs> to get napkins. It was bad. It was bad. I almost was. I was like in tears and laughing at the same time. Wow. When I she pulled up to my school to pick me up, I get in the car and she's crying. She was like, she knew if you had had puppy vomit. In your bra, you I'm deserve like, to cry. I was like, "Mom, what's wrong?" He loved me. I was like, oh my "And it was just she was like shaking, shaking crying, like she was ugly up, crying." He threw up like little his little she, kibble. He threw up chunks, so it was like little bitty. But it was a lot dog of thing, it for it a was, dog. And it was mushy. And it was mushy. Right? It was disgusting. disgusting. But now I know. PSA, guys: If your dog is throwing up, don't grab a snout. <laughs> So we had to go buy prescription motion, motion sickness, sickness pills. pills. Yeah, for our little Lucky. But I think now he's I, better. He. They said he would grow he out would of grow it. Him, but I think when he get when when we're traveling 
and we put him in his cage, I think he freaks out. And he works himself up. And he works up. himself up. Yeah. And then he, he doesn't throw up food because what we do is if we're leaving. What? Oh, that's your telling me to shut up. Yeah, yeah. You, mm -hmm. Oh. So don't, don't say that? Yeah, don't say that. Oh. So, I don't know. I think when he's in his cage, he, he throws up. But when he's in my lap, he does it. But if we're heading home, that makes a really long nine-hour trip or a something. very long trip. Because yeah. he wants to be in In the your lap. <sighs> the whole time. So you can forget driving. eating. You can forget eating. <laughs> eating, crossing your legs, watching. Yeah, you can forget that. And then he'll get, like, anxious and he'll... <laughs> He's going, he wants to look out the window. <laughs> and then he freaks me out because he pants like he's thirsty, but then he kind of pants like he's going to throw up. Yeah, so we're not so sure. So it freaks me out. Which thing it is. And then he'll, girl, he'll like gag and I'm like, oh God. Oh well, no. So when we travel, we have wet wipes, we have baggies, towels, towels paper towels, change of clothes, we got everything. We, ha yeah. we have everything. It's like having a baby in a car. Yeah. Like we literally, well, we we when we go out of town with him, we have, we have like towels. three packages of wet wipes, yeah, and napkins, yeah, and several towels. Yes, because if he throws up, and he throws some, up. Like, he's like, trash he's, like bags. Of, he's like someone. He's like someone who's had like, who's gone like beer crawling. That's how much his dog vomits. Like when he vomits, he vomits. He just is like, Bleh. no, it's like ah. no. So you know, you it's gotta a, be it's, ready. It's college girl. You know, college girl wasted right yeah. now. Like, uh, like sorority week wasted. <laughs> like, it's bad. But thankfully, he's he, getting, he's out, getting of out of it. But it, you know, it just kind of makes it harder to a travel. Hard, a hard travel because he has to be in your lap, and then you know. Other people are like, oh, just stick him in the cage. They'll be fine. But no, he has to be in your lap, and he has to see you. And so, He's very needy. Let's say that. He's very he's needy. He's a needy puppy. Yeah. And he's spoiled. That's he's, what it is. Don't look at me. Who spoils him? You. You and your parents spoil the crap out of him. Okay. I may spoil him, but she's supposed to be the mom. I'm no, the mom. No, what it is it's is like, I have, have bad cop. She's the good cop. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm the one who spanks him and yells at him. And don't she's the spanks. one. Well, no, because you're supposed to spank him. I, I don't beat my dog, okay? I spank him, you know, if he get eats something that he's not supposed, to, not supposed to, like he always does, I pop him and then I'm like, okay. But I'm the one who has to do it. She won't do it. So I'm the bad guy, and then she makes me clean up what he's done. So it's like, where do I win in this situation? He's your dog. <laughs> but it's, I feel like having, having a dog, you really, like, you don't understand, like, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Like, you, this, half the crap that we used to leave, like, we would leave, like, chips on our table, or, oh, no. like, we would leave like a muffin, you know. You you know, like late at night, you're snacking, you just leave it and finish cleaning up the next morning. We can't leave that. We can't leave the trash bags on the floor. We can't leave yeah, nothing. The trash, the trash can. We can't. We can't if it's leave the full, trash can, or we can't leave or it. somewhat full, because he he knows, knows how to knock the trash can over and get in there. Yep. Yeah. He knows how to climb on the step stool to get. On to the, to counter. the counter. Yeah. Onto the counter. He knows how to climb on the table. He knows how to climb on this table. Yeah. He's smart. Yeah. He knows we have like a little mantle in our room and we in our kitchen and we kind of put our trash on our on our freezer. He knows how because, to climb on the wait, mantle. We have to put the trash because he up, eats the bag. Because he will He will eat the bag. Yeah. He'll knock the trash can over, mm -hmm. or like the trash that we've the taken bag out that hasn't done. just gone outside yet. He eats the bags. Yeah, he eats the bags. Yeah, and it's not that we don't feed him. We feed, we this feed dog him all the time. And then he learned how to climb onto the mantle, so he can climb onto the deep freezer, so he can eat the bags. Crazy. This Crazy. is why I don't want kids. <laughs> He's enough. He's enough birth control to last me. Like, oh my gosh! He's a pain in the butt, and it's a lot of work, and he's expensive. 
Like, he is expensive. But you do stuff too, though, buying him stuff. She'll come home or Amazon will show up and it'll, I'm like, what? It, no. Although, I do have to say, where's the thing that you made me for for my 50th birthday? The oh, outfit. It was a shirt. Oh, there it is over there. So I bought a, like, a plain, white plain doggy shirt and I decorated it. And hold on, let me go get it. It's in Mardi Gras colors because my theme was Mardi Gras. It's the cutest thing ever. So it was the hardest thing, no, to make, right? It was the, he keeps conking his head. It was the hardest thing to make, but I made it. So it says, happy, okay, guys, it, it was hard, okay? <laughs> so don't I judge me. Cute. Do not judge me. I so think it's it cute. says, happy 50th birthday, grandma. And then I put his paw prints. His paw right prints. He had purple and black paw prints. Trying to get this dog to stay still <laughs> while doing this on my bed was the hardest thing I've ever accomplished in my life. Oh, he's a climber as well. So when he was little, I thought, well, let me leave yes. him outside because, you know, so that way he's not in his This kennel. is why we can't leave him outside. We just yeah. can't. So I got one of these Either big, that or he tears our door. Our yeah. door. Um, these, those big, what are they called? Trainer pins or something? Pins? Yeah. Kind of like a trainer. Okay, so he was little. Like, he not was like a year this old. little. Like, tiny. He climbed tiny. over the pin and flung himself. But we have we have had some scary moments where like he almost got attacked by pit bulls. Yes. Yeah. So that scared us so bad. That was scary. I was just trying to get him, and she's yelling at me. I'm yelling at Lucky. These la the lady who owns these pit bulls are nowhere to be found. And there and were I'm two like, big huge pit bulls big, unleashed. Yes. Granted, he was two. Yeah. But he just wants to play. And so he's... what? So here's what happened. I accidentally let him out. My bad. And he's not a fight. If you have ever met my dog, you know he's he will lick he you. He will lick you. So there was a little girl outside, and he started barking, but not to like attack her, but just barking like, "Who are you?" Yeah. And I'm guessing the pit bulls didn't like that because they were their dogs, and the pit bulls came after Lucky, and they were trying. They were. I don't even. It happened so fast. They it were barking so at each fast. other. I'm trying to reach out in there, well, get so lucky. At first, that one came out and was yes. growling and barking at him, mm -hmm. and then Lucky like saw him and was like, Choo! like he was and, like, oh, and no. flipped real fast because that dog nipped at him, and so Lucky flipped up. I thought he bit him, and um, and starts coming back our direction, and then as Lucky and the other dog comes, and their other dog starts to come as well. And I don't know, I didn't know what to do. I just started freezing and I'm like, lucky, lucky. And then I just started screaming um, because I, I don't know if I thought maybe that dog would stop or something. And lucky, if he ever gets out, he'll just run like, chum, yes. chum, 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 That's chum, what he, chum, he chum, likes chum, to run, run, run. And then he'll run. You just leave the door open he'll and he'll, he'll run right into the he, house. He wants his little five seconds of fame. That's yeah, what he wants. freedom. A freedom. And so he slowed down to be right there by us because we were in our mm -hmm. yard and that other pit bull was coming. Mm -hmm. And so Sierra reached down to pick up Lucky. And what she didn't see was when she was leaning down, that pit bull's mouth was like this, like this far from Sierra's face. And so I reached down and I yeah. clawed her she back and me. I was like, pulled what are you her doing? back and 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 then that dog and then I'm screaming and I'm thinking if I have to start kicking and whatever, um, and then I'm as I'm doing it because I, as I grab her I'm like no, it was just all dramatic. I mean I was screaming so loud. Neighbors were coming out. Yeah, and it was, um, it was it and was, then that dog scary. he. Stopped yeah. and then went and then back. I think why Lucky was no, he didn't go back. She finally came out. Oh, that's right. And I, I think the re it. and I think the reason that Lucky kept going was because Lucky was realizing, hey, these two big bulls are coming for my mama. So it, it was really scary. It was scary. very scary because she Moment she's looking my down life. and she didn't see that that pit bull's mouth was like. Just I didn't know this. Inches, I'm just thinking about oh my god, from her face. If they bite my dog, he's dead. Like. These pit bulls are like, 
Cute, Elephants. Huge. Like compared to a turtle. Them, like, their paws are, like, this big. Like, it was yeah, scary. They're huge. But... That is scary. scary. It may, yeah. it scares me just thinking about it. Like I would be devastated if something happened to him, but to think about that happening to you, like, yeah. oh, I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, but we're not saying pit bulls are aggressive. No, or we're not saying that. We're just. I think what happened was they were, that they situation. were they were they were they were protective of that little girl. And that's I, guess. I don't know. That, we I mean, don't because we don't know. Those we don't dogs. know, but. I just think the I just wish the owner would have came out sooner because it took her a good moment to come yeah. outside, which I think is a little, you know. Yeah. But, but anyway. anyway, but we've had he. Not every time he gets out, it's bad. I remember one no. time he got out and the garbage people were helping us. <laughs> they were like, "What's his name?" I was like, "Lucky." They were like, "Lucky." And see, Lucky's like hur, 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 trying to like. Lucky likes to growl. And, they're, and then lick you. Yeah, and Lucky's wasn't even paying attention to us. He was too busy growling at them and, and, and playing with from them. He was playing, with, playing them. with them. And, and I'm like, okay. So, guys, we are going to be doing a Q&A video. So, please comment any questions you have down below. It, it doesn't matter if you have eight questions. Let us know. I personally like answering questions. So, let us know any questions you have. Ooh. Or any videos, restaurants you want us to do, let us know. Any restaurants or food you want us to try. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you can always ask us questions about us. Yes. And Lucky or... Yeah. Or if you don't want to um, post your questions on YouTube, you can always go to our Instagram at Raising a Single Mom and DM us questions that way if you don't want to post them on yeah. YouTube. Or email us, RaisingAsingleMom yeah. at gmail.com. Yeah. So or if you're a single Christian guy, you know. Force you. I'm kidding. JK, no, we're taking that out. No! <laughs> I'm kidding. No. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that the next time we have a video, you'll yeah. be notified. And be sure to share this video with your friends and family and help us grow our community. And we just want to welcome all of our new subscribers. We're so excited and we look forward yeah. to meeting y'all and, and learning a little bit more we about you. We have great you. things planned for yes. you guys. Yes, we do. Oh, and be sure to check out these two videos. Oh, 